Well, isn't this a common sight these days? You step out the front door, ice everywhere. You look at the cars, they have ice on the windscreens. And first thing in the morning, which I've missed today, by the way, the first thing in the morning, you see car after car after car, just engine running with the heater on, pouring out fumes, can't be good for the environment, can't be good for our health. This is not the way forward. Now, the reason I'm filming today is uh, we've just received a comment on the channel. We get many of them, really snide little comments. How's your car, your EV doing today in the snow? Mine is absolutely fine. I run it for a couple of minutes, get it up to temperature, and it's absolutely brilliant. So I thought we would just do a um, a little exercise and show just how different it is if you own an EV because mine at the moment is frozen. I wasn't planning on using it today. I might not use it at all today. It's not plugged in, so uh, don't leave it plugged in all the time. So if I didn't have home charging, this uh, what I'm going to do now would be quite feasible. So it is frozen. Uh, so let's get some data before we uh, start this. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's get some data on the inside. Okay, so what we have now, the temperature is minus one. So this is really cold. We're also uh, 99 miles of range. I don't keep my car full all the time. It is, like most cars on the road today, around about half full. Uh, you don't need to keep it fully charged. I wasn't planning on going any long distance, so it's half full. Had I been going a distance, I would have charged it overnight. But if I want to go long distance now, I can just nip up to the supercharger and from here to full um, 15, 20 minutes maybe. So hardly a hassle. So if we start the car up, it's showing the battery is just under uh, 50% of the car's rising. Uh, we have the car set up for, it's got air suspension, which means that uh, when we get in and out, the car raises to make it easier for us. Um, what we can do is just on the display, let's go over here, uh, um, display, and we can set, instead of the distance, we can just do percentage. So here we go. So instead of 99 miles, it's showing 44%. So I'll do the calculation, but 44% represents um, just 99 miles. So 90% in round figures represents 200 miles. And the normal range I get in the winter is about 220, 230. So that's where we are at the moment. So all those people who say you can only charge to 80%, you can't drive below 20%. So you've only got 60% battery, absolute tosh. In the winter, there's absolutely nothing wrong with charging up to 90, 95, or even if you need it 100%. So all we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to put that back to um, distance. It's, it's what I prefer in mileage. And all we're going to do now is go in the house and let's get it to defrost and warm up the car. See how much uh, mileage it uses and how long it takes. The time at the moment is 11.13. Uh, minus one outside, 98 miles showing. So I'm inside now and... I had another comment recently. I get some really weird comments. And it was from someone who said, I can't be doing with all this fussing. You have to warm it up 30 minutes beforehand. Every time you stop, you've got to warm it up for 15 minutes, blah, 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 etc., etc. You only get 80% out of it and the whole rigmarole of lies and myths. Uh, in reality, of course, it's a bit like an alarm clock, a digital alarm clock. Uh, nowadays, you just program it in once. I want to wake up 7 o'clock in the morning during the weekdays and 9 o'clock on the weekend. Program it in. That's it. The car does everything else for you. You don't need to touch it every day. So where the hassle is, 
oh, I suppose it takes 30 seconds to pro program it on the first day. Anyway, we're now just going to switch over to um, uh, the app and we'll see what we've got. Okay, all we're going to do here is we are going to go into the app. This is uh, my car, it's on 98 miles, it's parked. So we go here, climate, interior is showing six degrees. So if we click climate, we now have an option. We can defrost the car or we can just heat it up. It's actually already starting to melt slightly. The temperature's probably just risen to zero. So let's just turn that on. And that is as simple as it is to get your car warming. So you can see already, I've got the red patches appearing. So that's the front and rear windscreen blowers going, and I've got the temperature inside. It's showing interior two, exterior zero. So all we do now is literally sit and wait. So what we need to see is when that temperature or the interior has gone up to three already, that's one degree up, four. So all the people who say you have to wait 30 minutes while your car heats up um yeah absolute rubbish what are we on now five degrees six degrees this is all real time you can see at the top the time and you can also see the heaters are on could also switch on the seat uh, the heated seat on there so we're now up to eight degrees and we're set at 19 and a half And if we just look outside, you can see the windscreen is already melting. Side. Isn't that amazing? Just a few minutes and we are up to temperature. The car is nice and warm. The windows are clear. And let's see how much mileage we've lost. Oh, we've lost a mile. Well, no, I tell a lie. It was 99 miles when it got in on the screen, wasn't it? But it started dropping pretty much straight away. The reason it started dropping, by the way, when I get in the car, it will automatically turn the heater on. It knows I'm in the car. It knows um, I've got a preset temperature on it. So it would have come on. So we started at 99 miles. The heaters are on. That one indicates the uh, battery heater. So we're on 97 miles. And uh, if we were ready to go, we would just jump in it and go. So if anyone out there is asking me, how does the car do in the cold? It does absolutely perfectly. It's taken just a few minutes. I will rewind this. I can't remember what time we, we actually took in the car. Um, I will wind back, but literally a few minutes. We've lost two miles of range. The car's nice and warm and we're ready to go. So let's just head out. So just to confirm, my wife's car, which is alongside mine, uh, window's still frozen. So it's not a fiddle of any way. This is actual live filming. So that one, all the windows are frozen. Uh, everything is frozen. A little bit starting to melt now. Uh, it's a little bit later in the day, but the windows are still solidly frozen. Whereas my car, for two miles of range, which I've sacrificed, I'm ready to go. So let's have a look what it says inside. It literally takes a few minutes. You can sit inside your house, have a cup of tea. Your car gets itself ready. All the windows are now um, defrosted. Uh, when I uh, start the car, if I put it into gear, the wipers would come on automatically. Well, I have to say, if anyone finds that simple exercise a hassle, then I think you've got something going wrong with your lifestyle because I didn't need to come out to the car. I could tell the temperature outside and inside the car from in my kitchen. I could tell the miles left on the uh, range from inside the kitchen. I didn't need to come out here. I came out to film you to show that my car was frozen. So you don't need to come out. So from inside your kitchen, you can open the app you can just press one button, turn the heating on, and then you just finish your cup of tea, get your coat on, whatever it is, and a few minutes later, you're ready to drive. Okay, so if we want to, we have here, um, on the charging section, we have here scheduled departure. We've still got 95 miles, we're still in the car, still the same. So if we go on to schedule, 
here we do we can go car will precondition by in this case we've got it 10 o'clock but if we want to change it we can do it all week or just on weekdays we can get it to do it only on off-peak charging all week or weekdays we can do preconditioning as well as, ca as as cabin heater all of this is just preset so in this case uh, we're going to do weekdays and uh, we're not going to do off-peak charging uh, so we go back there we set the time so in this case it is we're going to set for 12 o'clock and we do set it's now scheduled in so if i was planning to leave at 12 o'clock this car now would do all the preheating pre-warming preconditioning of the battery it did it all for me automatically so when i walked out of my front door at 12 o'clock this is the car i would get it would be a car already up at 19 and a half degrees all the windows de defrosted, demisted, car is ready to go. It's a really simple system. I'm going to take that off because I don't want it uh, scheduled because I have very fluid hours. I don't know where I'm going to be at any one time. Uh, I will sometimes wake up early and decide to set off early. So I don't use the schedule one very much, uh, but it is an option for me. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for now so thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed this please click the like button if you'd like to see more please click subscribe